It is cold. How cold is it? How cold? It is currently minus 34 degrees Celsius where I live right now. That's oh, not even including the wind chill. That's just the bare actual temperature. With wind chill, it feels even colder. That's like <laughs> minus 29 degrees Fahrenheit. What? It is really cold out there. L let me show you. No, don't show us. Oh, looks looks so beautiful, beautiful, right? Yes, yes it does. Looks so beautiful. So beautiful and white. So beautiful. So snowy. Minus 34 degrees. Are you trying to kill us? Which makes it a great day to stay inside and, and make a video. Okay. Okay guys, today's video I just want to talk a little bit about a tip I was given by a viewer who saw my method for uh, for cutting up books and uh, before we scan them to get them into a sheet feed stack. The suggestion was, why not use a guillotine paper cutter? Now there was two reasons that I didn't use that. One, I didn't have one. And what? two, the point of the channel was I wanted to convey uh, how I did it and without you requiring any special equipment. But then Jeez. I got to thinking, a guillotine paper cutter might save a lot of time. You think? But I didn't want to invest, you know, a few hundred dollars uh, in a fancy office grade one that's going to last forever. I just wanted to have something simple that I could try for my relatively low volume requirements. So I found something. I found something on Amazon. It only cost me $36.99 Canadian dollars. That's like under 30 bucks US. Even cheaper, even cheaper now. Cheaper now. As you can see, it's not huge. Uh, but it's certainly big enough. To... Uh, but it's certainly big enough to cut up any of the books that will fit through my sheet feeder, so it all works together. Ooh, um, it has a little paper guide that is, it's actually just magnetic, but what? You know, for a low volume thing, if you're being careful, this will be faster. I'm just going to be very careful and open this. Yeah, you better. Faster than doing a few sheets at a time with uh, a sharp blade. Let me show you how well it works. Yes, you do need to chop up the book with a knife like you normally would. Uh, might want to start with a sharp knife though. Okay, so we've we've started the book like Why we normally would, on the floor? and now we have to trim the edges, clean it up. I mean, it's it's in groups of you know five or ten pages, but let's try our new paper cutter to clean things up, shall we? That's what we're here for, Einstein. Edge set, and we shouldn't have to move it again. So there we have it. I would say that this investment has cut my ha, time did there. Cut. in half, oh, maybe even cut two thirds out of the process of uh, prepping a book. So that's huge. I mean, again, we're doing this for efficiency, but also on a budget. I think this was a great investment. Hey, who was I that? recommend it. Again, if you only have a couple of books, don't waste your time. Okay, but if you have a bunch you have to do, I'm right now wishing I had invested in this two years ago. So thanks for watching everyone, and I will leave you with a cat eating shreds of paper. Don't let her do that. Are you insane? Stop her. Stop her. Zoe, don't. No. No. So what is this, like Star Trek stuff now? Well, who do you think you are? Michael Scott or Captain Kirk? Jeez, pick a fake identity, buddy. Jeez.